Dee. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. It's Bo. You scared me. I'm sorry. You know, I should have knocked on the door and woke you up before I just came in here, especially after that guy broke in earlier this afternoon. I was dreaming. Yeah? Sweet dreams? Well, you know, I... I still dream in color, you know, and then I wake up and it's... it's all black. Oh, darling. Well, but I guess I'm pretty lucky. People who are born blind never get to see colors or anything, do they? No. So you were going to go to that place, what was it called? Um, it was called Elmo's Bar in Harrisburg. But I didn't see anybody from the plant that I recognized. And plus, there, there are jars of these pens sitting around. Anybody that walks in can take one. Mm -hmm. So then maybe it was just a random attempt at, at a robbery. It didn't even have anything to do with Lord Manning, huh? Because mm -hmm. they should know if I found anything illegal, I would have told Rave. Yeah, but you said that you didn't remember everything. I know, but I'm trying, boy. No, 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 I am, no, no, I am no, trying. No, 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 that's not. I want you to just rest. You know, just take care of yourself, okay? I'm, I shouldn't even have come down here to see you tonight. But I was being selfish. I just wanted to see you again and just tell you that I love you. And I just wanted to kiss you goodnight. Night. Dee Dee, is something wrong, darling? From now on, Jack, you lock the master computer chip up in the safe when we're not in production, okay? Congratulations again, Clay. Yeah, sure. Dee Dee's sister's not exactly a child prodigy, you know. I had to put her through some pretty heavy changes, but uh, I don't think anyone's going to be the wiser. Yeah, well, I just hope that uh, Dee Dee doesn't have second thoughts about the chip. Oh, yeah, now what does that mean? Well, she must have spotted it, put it in her purse, and forgot about it. Well, she doesn't know what the hell it is. Yeah, but what if she remembered and described it to the cops? Clint. Well, I'm glad one of you is sober enough to remember my name. He scared us half to death. You're not even supposed to be here. No, you're supposed to be in New York. F for the night. Yeah, not coming back till tomorrow. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Would one of you mind telling me just what the hell is going on? You know, I was about to ask you the same question. Oh, I'm with Bo. Uh, he wanted to come by and stop and say goodnight to Dee Dee. Yeah, I figured he'd be here. Uh, I couldn't reach you guys all night. Yeah, we've been busy. Uh, we thought we had a clue as to who got into her room and scared her. What? Nobody told me about that. What? Well, there's not much more to be said. There's some guy went in there and uh, she screamed and he ran. Oh, poor girl. Isn't it enough that she's lying there unable to see? You know, there's some really wonderful people in the world, Mimi. Is that why there's a guard over there? Yeah, supposedly. Woody, um, how is she? You know, what is what is the prognosis here? Not good. Are you saying that she... Yeah, she might be blind for life. Oh, dear Lord. How does anybody cope with something like that? You know, we're almost the same age, and I can't imagine something... Mm. What a year for the O'Neill family. Harry being killed and Dee Dee losing her sight. It's almost as if somebody's conspiring against them. I think someone is. Really? Do you think there's any, um, any evidence to support her theory about somebody using Lord Manning for uh, illegal activities? No, I'm afraid not. Bo and Rafe went over and uh, checked out Section B. And they're just making computer washing machine parts in there. So she was wrong. No, no, not at all. Bo thinks her instincts are right, and I do too. There's just no way to prove it right now. Boy, 
Well, must be shattered by all this. You know, he was just telling me the other day how much he was still in love with Dee Dee, but she had Rafe and everything. Oh, so no, no. Rafe's out of the picture. Bo and Dee are together again. As a matter of fact, he proposed to her this morning, and she accepted. As oh. far as Bo is concerned, the blindness doesn't change a thing. Well, he really is one of the most compassionate, sweet men in this entire world. I'll agree with that assessment. But how does it make you feel? Oh, I dealt with it when he told me that I was, you know, just a distraction to get away from his true feelings. Oh, come on, I don't think he put it that way. No, no, of course not, but that was the, that was the bottom line. Certainly helped me get over my teenage crush. I just guess so. Uh, sometimes two people aren't meant to be together. Sometimes they are. Are you talking about us? That's, uh, depending on whether or not you can separate Michael James Woodward from Bob Buchanan. I'm gonna try. It's gonna take some time, though. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm not going home until you tell me what's wrong, and I think we'll be able to clear it up tonight. I don't think that's possible. <sighs> Dean, what happened between the time I left and the time that I came back here? I, I, I don't understand this. The truth happened. The truth? What truth? That you asked me to marry you out of pity. Out of pity? Huh? I you said know what? pity. For an intelligent woman, sometimes you say the stupidest things. Well, I don't think it's stupid. Okay, the most ridiculous things. I asked you to marry me because I love you. I have never stopped loving you. You've never stopped loving me, yet you don't ask me to marry you until you find out that I'm blind for life. No, 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 no. See, now you're getting things in the wrong order. I think well, you, the timing is a little bit off. I thought that you and Rafe were about to become engaged until last night when Rafe told me otherwise. Well, you could have made all that up, you know. Why would I lie to you? I have never lied to you in my life. You know, as soon as Rafe told me that, I came looking for you. You want me to find a, a witness that can verify the fact that as soon as I heard it, then I came looking for you? No, I believe you. Great. That's great. At least we've got that out of the way. Deej, you know, some of the... One thing I really love about you is, is you're always just full of these surprises. I still can't marry you, Bo. I want your love. I don't oh. want your pity. You've got my love. You've got all of it. You're a very decent man. There's no way that you'd ever break this engagement because of my handicap. Because the handicap does not matter. How can it, how can it not matter? Look at me. I'm not the woman that you fell in love with. I'm just a limited version of her. You know, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to be very patient. I'm trying to be very calm and even maintain a sense of humor because I know that you've been through a lot of shocks lately. And I'm not sure that if I wasn't in your place or that I w would be able to think straight. I don't want to be a burden to you, Bo. Do you get that? Oh, yeah, I do get that. So there's the problem here, right there. It's not me pitying you, it's you pitying yourself. It's nothing to do with self-pity. It sure as heck does have something to do with self-pity. Dee Dee O'Neill is, is now, she, she has a defect. She's damaged good. She's not even worthy of having a man fall in love and want to, want to marry her. Hmm? Why are you being so mean to me? I'm not being mean to you. You're being mean to you. 